Okay guys, on to my next LEGO set uh, review, which is the Homing Spider Droid. Um, just on the back of the box real quick, and this is ages 7 to 12, um, set 75016, and 295 pieces, okay? Um, and I think this one costs $34, um, versus I think the 24 of the Corporate Alliance tank. I'm not entirely sure, I'll have to look it up. Um, I'll put the, the price in the comments. So, first thing when building this set that I noticed was that in the picture, I'll just get the camera back, um, the drool, it, it stands really well in the picture and not so much in real life. Um, as you can see, he looks like he's kind of crippled there. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let me just go uh, first go over the minifigures, which are right here. Um, so we have another clone trooper. Again, with the head, you know, the, the new head, which is awesome. I'm so happy about that. And another rifle. Um, we have two super battle droids, which are nothing new. They never make any new type of battle. The only difference in the battle droids was like in a couple Revenge of the Sith sets, they were very, very blue. Uh, but now they're more of a, a gray blue. Uh, a steel kind of color. Uh, probably the reason I got this set was for this minifigure, Stas Ali. Um, her cousin is um, Adi Gela. Yeah, I have both of their action figures, but um, she has blue eyes. Isn't that cool? Um, and so another Jedi that we have not seen um, yet, and she has a lightsaber. She's been played, this character's been played by like three different women, but they went ahead and um, kept her as the one who did all the promos, which, I mean, she's the one you see the most, but they did in episode three a different one, and so it confused a bunch of people. Anyways, it was really weird. Uh, but she is a super cool minifigure, I think. Um, she looks nice. I like her outfit and her little headpiece. I don't know if that's hair. I don't think that's hair. I think it's just a headpiece. Uh, but she's not human. Oh yeah, and the back printing's really good, too. And so that's nice. She looks good. Um, so definitely the reason I picked up this set was for another Jedi. Um, so we have a mini spider droid here, and he's not considered a minifigure. He's just part of it. I keep thinking that he's the baby and that's the mama, but that's not true. Um, so here's the really little one, and he's he's got droid body torsos as part of his legs. And he's kind of he's slightly hard to get keep even because you have to move all of his legs in the same way or else he'll fall over. Um, and his headpiece pops off with just the, the slightest touch. Um, yeah, y'all will know in this review, I'm not a big fan of this set, um, honestly. Oh yeah, and then his eyeballs fall down all the time. See? Look, he's sad. Now he's awake again. But yeah, I mean, his, his head just falls off. Um, and he goes all kinds of directions when you don't have his feet in line. But there's that. Um, the biggest thing here, which is the big, you know, one, you see it in the movie, he, this is a sturdy, a sturdy Lego set, guys. It really is. You know, you can shake it and play with it, and I'm doing that off camera. Oops, well, something did come off, but it was small. Hold on. Is that how it goes on? No. Oh. Well, I just broke it. No, just kidding. Okay, this <laughs> went up here, but I just made it come off. Other than that, though, the, it's basic build. It's very sturdy. Um, its arm legs are pretty articulate. Um, for a Lego set, I mean, you've got several points of motion. Um, and his head spins. Those are his eyeballs. Um, and he's got, this is a flick fire. Um, and down here is just like a cannon that you shoot things with. Um, yeah, so being super articulate, this thing can't stand to save its life. Oh, look, I got it. I got it. Oh my gosh, it's the first time I've gotten it. Anyways, okay. Um, nine times out of ten, he'll stand correctly. But watch me do it. Yep. And then he just falls back. So I do have a complaint with this is he rarely, he rarely can stand without kind of buckling. And so that's annoying. You know, he just leans every which way. There we go. You, okay, now I get him to, of course I get him to stand when I'm on camera, right? Um, but, I mean, he falls over real easy. So, it's kind of a complaint with this. I honestly don't think it was really worth $34. Um, being, I mean, this is a neat, a neat Lego set here, but... Um, just can't stand, guys. <laughs> Not very well, at least. And then this one's hard to stand up. Um, and his head comes off a lot. 
Um, I don't, I mean, I guess this is supposed to be the smaller version of this, but they don't really, no, it's not really. They're supposed to be a little different. Um, yeah, um, get it for the minifigures, definitely. Um, even though one is only, like, new, new, um, still get it. Because, I mean, that's more army building, at least. Battle droids and a clone. And then you get a new, um, Jedi. But, yeah. They could have done something different, I feel. Um, but, I mean, it's the Battle of Geonosis. They have all kinds of stuff. And so, that'll be great. If you can get, like, all the Lego, um, sets that go to the Battle of Geonosis, you could make a really cool diorama, I think. Um, and add in some extra Legos and stuff. It'd be super cool. Uh, but anyways, there's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, you know, if you're going to pick up the set, it's still worth picking up. Just be aware that this thing will take time to, you know, obviously stand up. Um, so there's that, guys. Stay tuned for more.